Hi there. Um, in this video, I'll show you how to configure PayPal payments uh, standard module in uh, OpenCAT 4, 4.x. So this will apply in most uh, version 4, but uh, the process is similar in uh, OpenCAT 3x etc. So um, to start, you need to ensure that you have downloaded the the extension. Uh, I'll leave the extension uh, detail below the video so that you can purchase and then uh, configure it. Uh, or you can use uh, maybe the pre-built if by the time you view this video, if it's available, you can also do the same. So once you have the extension installed, uh, you'll be able to see it here. Just under PayPal standard, somewhere here, and then you will click the the green button that will be here so that you can install it. Once you install it, you can now just come under extensions and then select payments. So under payments, you'll now see these PayPal payments. Then click edit button. If you are not able to click edit button, obviously you need to ensure that you first um, let me just refresh this. Open card four is still buggy. Uh, payments. And then so you'll see a green button like this one, and then just click install. Once you click install, just click edit, and then you can uh, input your email. So this should be your merchant email. Uh, your your paypal merchant email and then uh, so in this case I just use a test account then if you are ready to use it you should set this to the sandbox mode to no if you are not you can just say yes and then authentic the transaction method always set to authorization and then for total this is the minimum amount the customer is allowed to check out for them to use if they have to use a uh, PayPal. So if we say 100, it means if, for example, you have dollar currency, it means that um, all uh, this method will be activated if the cut value is at least $100. Then you can specify a couple of geosons. Maybe uh, you want to limit where, um, open, uh, where the customers can use, which customers can use um, PayPal. So you can just modify this. If you don't know how to create this, you can just check under the system, localization, and then geosons. Then you'll find it populated here. So in this case, I just leave it to geosons, all geosons. And then the debug mode, this one you can set on, off, depending on the use case. So if you are in sandbox, I think the best way is to enable it so that you can capture any errors and then enable the status and then for the sort order is basically to order uh, the order of a uh, display when the customer is checking out. So I will uh, save that. Then we switch tabs to the order status. So PayPal uh, offers different kind of uh, uh, order statuses. So you can just go through and then set as per your need. So in my case, the key ones are the, for example, the cancelled, you can just leave it to cancelled. There's the completed status, you can just say uh, processing. So this means that PayPal gateway has has completed the payment. So the reason why I set it to processing is just for me to double confirm uh, manually. And then there's the denied, expired, I can just set to expired, sorry. Uh, this one can say to denied, failed to failed, pending to pending, process to process, cancelled, uh, this is the refund. So you can set this depending on your use case. In some cases, every, uh, some of these you can just leave to cancelled. But if you want a better messaging, I think you can consider using uh, some of these statements like uh, for example, this is reversed for voided is voided then i can also support i mean sorry uh, save once you save that there is a uh, the support part so you can always email this 
account for you to to get any support if you purchased this uh, extension or um, if you need additional support and additional modification for any of your plugins or this specific plugin always uh, feel free to reach out to this email we'll respond within uh, 24 hours so guys that's pretty much about it thank you